UK here with Team WBT bringing another recap. Uh, this matchup was against War Bears. It was a 4 10 16 even breakdown for a random spin. Um, we ended up losing by one star but had the overall percentage. We had the three 10 v 10s. They had two. We had one dip fail. They dipped perfect. Um, we had a close 11 v 11 and then 10 v 11 we were two of six and they were three of six. So, going to show fully what they did. Um, their nines were 13 of 32. We were 16 of 26. So, and then, let's see. Defenses. That was fresh. So we will show Maven's attack on number one. Is coming in with a pretty much mass, mass Velk attack. Uh, let's see where he starts this at. Alright, starting with a Goblin Bowler Funnel down at 6 with his Queen. Gonna use a Rage just to get more out of the Bowler Bounce and get the Queen going in quicker. They're going to take out a decent chunk of the base. Bowlers go down fairly quick. Tries to lure the CC with a hog. Doesn't get the lure. Uh, Queen's going to step up, take down this arch tower, and start walking down the wall. Starts King up at 9 with a couple more bowlers coming up the CC. Get more of a funnel over here at 9. Queen's still walking down the wall getting good value for her essentially. He's gonna have to pop the ability here soon. King breaks in and takes out a good chunk of the base over here up towards 9 and the 10. Um, CC... I don't know how the CC is gonna get killed here. Oh, double poison. Alright. CC goes down. Valks are gonna break in. He's gonna drop an early rage. He's gonna heal around the Inferno Towers once they take the jump. Heal comes down. Velks are going in. They're going to take out the queen. Now they're going to target the town hall. Some Velks ended up walking, which is going to help them out with a little bit of percent as well. Town hall is about to go down. Finally comes down. Already has the two star. Dropping baby drags over here for cleanup already. Velks are still in the core, getting a little bit of extra percentage. Not going to get too much more, if any at all. Baby drags are going to get the rest of the percentage. And the baby drag is dead. Alright. Nice attack by Maven. Uh, do I want to show... This one? Is it this one? Uh, we won't show that. So, which ones were dips? This is not dip. Let me see. Okay. So, show this first 10v10 off by Trey. Is coming in with a queen charge here, starting it up at 12. Well, actually at 11. Using a baby drag to funnel it in over to walk towards 12. Going to wall break in here at the town hall real quick. Wall breakers go in so far. Alright, bring the break happens. Queen's gonna end up walking in towards getting the queen kill and also the CC. After this archer tower goes in, the queen should aggro. Mortar goes down, queen aggroes on enemy qu queen under a rage already. He's gonna poison the CC. He's gonna think he has to double poison here or use queen ability. Yep, ends up having to use queen ability due to the poison not being a little low enough. Uh, drops another rage. Wall breakers don't end up targeting where he wants just because there's no defenses behind it. So it ends up in a wall break though. Queen's gonna beat through the wall and he's gonna start hogging a little bit up here at 12 just to take out some garbage buildings. And he's gonna heal the hogs clockwise. Here. Uh, still has seven hogs left. Already starting his cleanup. 
Gonna drop another heal around these infernos just so all of his hogs can stay under heal. They are multi infernos, so they're not really doing that much to the hogs at this stage. Now that they are under heals, tried to poison the skellies, but I think more popped up. King down here, taking out this half of the base, taking out some defenses the hogs don't have a path through. Uh, wizard still cleaning up. Queen still in the core. Hogs just have a couple more defenses, and there's a Troll Tesla in the corner. But he has enough up still and enough time to where it doesn't really matter. Queen's gonna kill the king. And those last hogs are going for this Troll Tesla. Uh, Wizard's gonna die from the skellies, or close to. No. Hogs will take out the Troll Tesla, turn around and kill the Skelly, and take out the rest of the base. Gonna go ahead and go to times two. Alright, good attack by Trey. Next 10v10 is by Indy Nomad. He did have a 10v10 six pack. Is coming in with a bow witch attack. Using healers on the side where the splash damage can reach outside for his flank. Actually. Alright, drops on the rest of his. Bowlers uses giants instead of a golem. That's an interesting from the CC. Gonna use a rage here. He's gonna poison the CC. I'm gonna drop the second jump about on top of the CC. He's gonna have to drop his heal here soon. There comes the heal. Gonna rage again once the king gets a little further and the bowlers are on the queen area. Rage comes down. First Inferno is about to go down. Queen helps, hops over, helps take us out. Queen, King is still charging through the core. He's going to end up dying here soon, though. Um, Queen's going to take out this Expo and hopefully take the jump spell again. Um, the flank on the right side is still up with the healers. Queen's coming back around. It's going to take out the Dom Tower. Bit of an early ability. Just to speed up taking out these defenses. Really nothing left to stop. These many bullies and witches and skellies that are still up. There's really no, no splash damage except for this mortar, which is a Town Hall 9 level, so it's not going to do too much. So, going to go ahead and go to times 2. Nice attack by Indy. And now for number 14. Coming with a mass minor attack using queen to funnel here at 9. Couple wizards over here towards 12. Also, wizard to help funnel the queen down the side. Gonna drop the king here, probably once that gold mine goes down on the elixir collector. Yep. King comes down. King's gonna end up walking in a little bit due to the Tesla, but after this bear goes down, it shouldn't really matter. Oh, nope. Miners end up padding to the Tesla. Queen's gonna stay walking down, uses a heal. Here he's gonna poison this loon. So the loon and the queen. He's gonna use a rage, I think, right around there to help speed through. Rage comes down. Still has two heals left and only level one inferno towers. So he's gonna be a little patient with the heal. Uh, ground skellies are popping, but doesn't really matter with level 1 inferno towers and now that you can heal through the infernos he's gonna probably drop this heal on the inferno and the wiz tower here no nope. ends up on the other one right. queen's still walking down queen's probably about to die from skellies ends up living once this these two wizards towers come down not much left defense wise to stop the miners these last couple miners up on the right side 
currently taking that. Queen's going to take out this last Tesla. I'm going to go ahead and go to times two. Alright, I'm going to show a couple 9v9s here. I'm only going to show fresh ones, so let's see which ones were fresh. That defended four. That's a witch slap. That was fresh. I'm going to show an attack by Dendira here. Coming in with a three gallon gobo. Starting his funnel at six, dropping the golem with the baby dragon. A couple wizards behind. Other golem here at about four. Placing wizards here to help funnel in behind as well. Using a jump to enter instead of a wall break and entry. Once this town hall comes down, he's going to put his heroes and bowlers down. And then he's going to use an early rage right around the queen and the wiz tower. Yep. Rage comes down, boulders redirect into the core. Queen should redirect after taking down this air defense to help take out the CC. Yep. Queen jumps in, King's still in the core, pretty much at full health, beating through the wall. Queen's picking off buildings. The right side funnel is actually in good value because the bolt or the golem's helping. And then uses King ability here. Just to help break through the wall faster, Queen's going to take out these Expos. Going to start hogging here at about 8, using a couple hogs. And he's going to save the other hogs. He's going to drop a heal right here due to the giant bomb. Other hogs coming in at about 11. Uses the last heal around the Wiz Tower. Wizard's still up from the funnel. And he dropped two wizards down here to clean up. And then just has a lot of hogs and queens still up. So we're going to go ahead and go to times two. Just last building up in the corner. Right. Good attack by Dendira. Gonna show Eduardo G's attack here on uh, number 19. He is coming in with a Queen Walk Gobo. Using archers and minions just to take out some of the trash buildings over on this side. Uh, we're gonna start starting this Queen Walk up here at 12. Probably gonna use a baby drag to funnel. Nope. Starting his kill squad down here at about two. He was trying to funnel at three with a baby drag, but got hit by a black Sam. Uses wizards to replace to help create the funnel. Being patient until he drops the rest of his troops for the funnel to be created. He's going to use a jump here for an entry. Jump comes down. He's going to drop the CC bowlers. Queen's up here still walking around the base. Gonna drop a rage in here to help accelerate through. I would imagine once the bowlers redirect, bowlers redirect, rage comes down. Uses an early king ability. King still getting good value. Gonna end up jumping this wall and the kill squad will essentially take out one half of the base. Queen is still walking, kills the king. King pack comes down. Not much left for these hogs to really take care of. Space is pretty much wrecked. Queen should stay alive through the whole raid. Yep. Once that Tesla comes down, there's not much that'll kill her because the hogs are targeting the other defenses and distracted at the same time. So, gonna go ahead and go to times two. Nice 
nice attack by Ed. Alright, you're gonna show one more 9v9. I think we're gonna do docks. Yep, we'll do docks attack on number 21. Is coming in with pretty much just a mass hog. He's gonna use minions just to take out some trash buildings here. Probably going to do a hero swap for the queen kill and maybe lure the CC. Wizard comes down with the baby drag to target the town hall and create a funnel probably for his heroes. Gollum comes out of the CC. Okay. King and queen come down. He's going to use a jump to enter in the Gollum. Using the wizard to try and help funnel the king in. Using a couple of giants and hogs to take out this Tesla farm here. Gollum's going to go to the core. Queen should redirect and target the enemy queen. And does, while it is distracted by the Gollum. Poisons the CC. Enemy queen comes down. Gollum lured the CC. Poisoned. And the queen's going to step up and take down the CC. While Gollum is still tanking. CC is killed. Queen should step up after taking down this bomb tower and queen pad to take out the sweeper and the expo. It may also target the CC though. Yep. Steps up for the expo. Getting good value out of the queen to be honest. Starts hogging up from 12. King's still alive. Using the first heal around the expo. Around the queen, not the expo. Queen is still alive in the core, pretty much at full health with ability. Hogs are coming in from about 2, 3 o'clock. Has one more heal, probably heal around the expo and the whiz towers. Yep. Heal comes down. Poison the king. King's going to get killed by the queen. Hogs are still going here. Going to take out these last couple of defenses. The giants still walking around the base. Queen gets the king kill. Now we're going to go to times two. Alright. Good attack by Doc. Alright. That'll do for this recap. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.